everybody. Welcome back to the Dan Bar for another Big B beer review. Now, going down the line out of the ones I got in that uh, mail package from uh, Wayne from Bucks County Beer Reviews, I will leave a link. So, we got the second one Honey Pot, Honey Bright IPA from Victory Brewing. It's a limited release coming in at 7.6% ABV. Made with locally sourced honey, which I believe they're up in New York or Pennsylvania, Downington, Pennsylvania. Small batch, locally crafted, locally loved. Nice. Bright notes of orange blossom buzz around locally sourced honey in this Honey Bright IPA. The second release in this year's Victory Small Batch line. This balanced IPA combines malty sweetness and a bite of orange forward hops to deliver you the ultimate honey pot. Fancy. All right. Honey pot, I like the cans even got like an embroidered, it feels, I can feel the writing, that's cool. Honey pot IPA. It's definitely a limited release because I had a hard time finding any kind of reviews and stuff on it. So, and this came in the package, the beer mail from Wayne Allen from uh, Buck County Beer Reviews. Check out his channel if you haven't already. <clears throat> I'm excited about this one. He did a review on this, and I believe I commented on it, how it just was, it looked and sounded. He, made, he sold me on it, you know? So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm always looking forward to beer. Hmm. Not really getting much out of the can. Just a little maltiness. Okay. Oops. No, no half hard pour going on. Nice. That's beautiful. Look at that. Definitely looks very nicely carbonated. Nice and golden honey looking color for sure. I mean, look at that thick. It looks like a pretty wet, thick foam for the head there. About two to three fat fingers. Okay, nice and clear. Look at that clearness. Wow. Almost like a Pilsner. Really, really tight little bubbles there. Yeah, look at that clearness. That's a good sign. So yeah, very, very uh, dense. Kind of looks like a wet foam for the head there for sure. Color-wise. Yeah. I'm going to say it's about a nine. Eight or nine. It's definitely in that area. Nice. Beautiful color. Hmm. <clears throat> Very nice. Smells a little bit more potent. Kind of getting maybe a little honey, possibly. Definitely malty. It's getting over the head. A little bitter and malty. Not really much. Salute. Mm. Wow. Okay. You can tell it's an IPA. Not really getting too much honey. I'm getting a little in the beginning. That's that's different. That's definitely different. It's, I've never really had an IPA with honey that I can recall. I've had, I mean, there's been like porters or, or lagers and stuff that I've had honey in them, but not like an IPA that I can recall anyway. This is actually really good. It's definitely hoppy. Medium body. Nice and crisp. With a smooth finish. And I'm getting the honey that's there in the aftertaste. You know, as I'm breathing, I'm, I'm getting, I could taste the honey coming through. It's mostly hoppy. And I believe they use, they got the hop bill. They don't have their the malt bill online, but they tell you the hop bills. Idaho Jim Hops, 
HBC 630 hops, Talus hops, and Triumph hops. So, four different types of hops. Mm, that is good. I feel like having like cereal, pouring this over some honeycombs, huh? That would be good. <laughs> ah, not really. Fried chicken. That'd be the way to go. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Some KFC even. This would pair well with some fried chicken. Get a bucket of Colonel Sanders finger licking good chicken. Crack open one of these, watch a movie. Get your set. That is not bad. All right. So on tap, it gets a 3.88 out of 88 reviews. Just 88 reviews on untapped. It's not even on Beer Advocate. That's how limited release this is. So thank you very much, Wayne. Thank you very much. I probably would never have the chance to try this if it wasn't for you. Obviously, not a lot of people have tried it because it's not really out there on the web. So super cool. Would I buy this again? Well, if they kept making it, I would because I like the flavor of it. But for at basically $3.25 for a 16 ounce can, that's not too bad. Let's see, that comes out to yeah, $12.99 $12 for a four pack of these 16 ounce cans. That's actually not too bad. I probably would buy it again for sure. But I think I'm going to remember this one for sure. This is a really good one. And I definitely recommend it if you uh, can find it. Try it. I kind of have a feeling you won't be able to find it unless they make them different all each year. You know, it's like one of those small batch things. So, Big B Beer Review Grade. I'm going to give this one an A. It's not too shabby. So, stay tuned, y'all. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, share. Still got three more beers from the, from the beer mail that I got from Wayne. From Bucks County Beer Reviews. Make sure you check out his channel and you can find his channel also on my group on Facebook, Beer Reviewers United. You can find it there along with a bunch of other great reviewers that leave their reviews for you to enjoy. And I hope to catch you here at the damn bar for the next one. Till next time, salute.